Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to remove malware from WordPress site. So it is going to be a very easy one. But before we start, we want to ask you guys to please like and subscribe into our channel. This will help us a lot. So let's get started. So first thing that you want to do is you want to go to wordpress.com and log in into your account. So once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is we want to open up a new tab and you want to type in the following website. So it is going to be called wildcare.com. So what you need to do here is you want to sign up. So wildcare application or the malcare website here is going to be a plugin that we could use on wordpress to scan for viruses so it's actually pretty easy to use so i'm just going to log out from my account here so when you actually sign up into malcare you will be able to see your email address password or confirmation password here to sign up but you also have the option to log in via your google account that you could use so you can just choose the your Google account there. So once you click on it, you'll be able to choose which Google account you want to use for this one. So since I already created my account, it's going to automatically log me in. Now here, how do you actually add your site here? Just click on add site and you just need to enter the URL for your WordPress site here. And basically it's going to lead you into this UI here. So now, what you need to do is you want to install the plugin here. So you could either install the plugin via the Malcare website here or via the uh, web uh, plugin options here in WordPress. So if you want to use the plugins via the uh, section for WordPress here, so for example, let's just type in Malcare. So you can just click on search and just click on this one. And here you just need to install this into your account. So, but uh, to be informed, uh, plugin or the plugin usage for WordPress is actually not a free feature. So you will have to upgrade your plan to have this installed into your website. But yeah, so yeah, from here you just need to install that. And from here you will have the different options to get your site scanned and get protected. But yeah, but once you've installed everything, you just need to click on the scan site that you see on your screen here. And that will be about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.